What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wakamandu, back here at Ranch Trench Garage. And uh, yeah, it's nighttime, and uh, I've kind of been like fiddle futzing in here. And the idea was to try to get some more of this stuff on this list knocked out. And I've been out here since like four o'clock. It's like midnight now. And guess what I managed to do? Guess what I managed to do this whole time? Yeah, I, I, I managed to put the door handle on. Yeah, that, that's what I did. I put, I put the door handle on in six hours. <laughs> um, the next thing I did is uh, I cleaned off the uh, glass right here. Uh, that's going to be going in there soon. But uh, unfortunately, it won't happen tonight. Because... I need some screws and stuff to finish off the uh, door handles. You can't put the window in before you put the door handles or you'll never get the door handles on. Tomorrow, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to put these on because they are a pain in the ass. These door handles, oh, they're terrible. They're terrible to put on. And uh, I couldn't find anything online on how to do these things. Nothing really in depth, nothing like that. I just kind of had to look at the parts car and then come back and look at the parts car and come back and then finally got it. I broke C clips and I had to go buy extra C clips. It, it was it was a mess. It was really a mess. But it's on and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in the morning. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just start putting the uh, cooling system back together and probably probably even throw the uh, throw the uh, um, bumper on. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, and, uh, that'll be it. We'll go ahead and uh, put you guys on, on a time lapse and uh, we'll go ahead and get that done. Hey, alright guys, well, I didn't get everything on the old GoPro, and I was probably zoomed in a lot, I just noticed that it was, I was really zoomed in, so, sorry, close up of my face, at least I'm beautiful, anyway, but, uh, look what we got, oh yeah, but yeah, alright, so, uh, see you guys in a few hours, hey, what's up everybody, uh, we're back again, it's a week later, and, uh, Man, look, I got Teggy G over here, and, uh, you know, he just, he just came and saved me from the sleep monster. The sleep, <laughs> the sleep monster showed up and took over me, but he came by and he saved me from it, so I can come out here and, uh, get some more work done, and, uh, and, and I got this guy cleaning seats, and, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm just so glad somebody's helping me today, <laughs> but anyway, um, I did have a little bit of a tragedy. Um, I learned a valuable lesson about working too tired and about, um, you know, I, I, I learned I learned some lessons, and uh, it looks like I'm going to learn another lesson. Which is, are you ready for this? Are you ready, guys? I'm going to learn a valuable lesson about how, how how to fix paint chips. You see that? Hold on, now let me let me let me get you right with this. 
Yeah, you see that? That paint chip right there? I did that. I did that because, you know, whenever it, you, you shouldn't be in a rush to do stuff. But I'm going to peel this tape back. As you can see, there's, there's tape on here. And uh, the reason why there's tape on here is because, because, you know, I didn't learn my lesson quite fast enough. And uh, as I peel this back, you're going to see that. Yeah, I dum-dumbed up, dumb -dumb up real good. And, uh, you know, and when I first did it, I was, I was really, really, really distraught about it. I still am because looking at it just, uh, you know, just makes my stomach turn a little bit. But, um, you know, get back in focus here. Yeah. Yeah, so it made me feel really bad, and, I, you know, I still feel a little crummy about it. But it looks like that's just something that I have to learn how to do now. It looks like now I have to learn how to uh, fix paint chips, which is bad how I have to learn, but it's good that, you know, that's something that I'm being forced to learn something else. And uh, the other lesson that I've learned on this is like, don't rush yourself. You know, uh, uh, um, these things kind of just take time. I know you want to get it done, and it's good to work hard and, you know, and, and try your best and, you know, have a timeline and do the best you can on stuff. It's all good, but, you know, never be in too much of a rush where things like this can happen. And it was just me rushing. It was just me just, you know, not you know, trying to pay more attention to getting something done rather than uh, getting it done correctly. So, I learned a lesson. Um, I hope you guys don't have to go through the same thing. And I'm going to show you how to put the window in. I still, as a matter of fact, I was so distraught about this, I never really even finished putting this window in. As you can see, it's just in, and it's on the track, but, you know, it's it's not like in, in. Like, it, it hasn't been installed, so... That's something else I'm going to have to do. But still, I'm still going to get this installed first. And then I'll do a full tutorial using the other side on how to install these windows on the Z31. So that way, you guys will know. And you guys don't have to make the same mistakes I make. I'll make these mistakes for you guys. I will. I'll do that for you. But anyway, I'm talking too much again. Because I'm just, you know, a little... I'm, I'm just, you know... I just rattle off. But hey, but uh, me and G... As, as, as quickly as he's come out here, he has <laughs> cleaned the seats. That's something that would have taken me like an hour for no reason. So, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get these bad boys bolted in. Uh, we'll throw you on a time lapse for that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw some coolant in this thing. Like the whole time I was supposed to be just putting coolant in the car, he, he, he did the seats. So it's pretty awesome. I'm so glad. I, like, I, I love it when people come over. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and throw you on a, a time lapse. And uh, we're going to do some work. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, sorry. So sorry I lied to you guys about um, about time lapsing this. I didn't. I didn't time lapse it. But what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and crank this thing up, which is hasn't been cranked up in a good long while. Um, we put coolant in there. All right, you go ahead and crank it. It should fire right up. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Holy shit, that thing's so quiet! Hey, what's up guys, it's the following night. Um, the trucks are done, both of them uh, got their oil changed. And uh, the Tundra oil change is kind of a pain in the butt. And uh, the next time I get around to doing that, I'll do a full tutorial on it. Thank you, Take a G, for coming through and helping me uh, get both of these cars uh, done for, you know, getting the oil change done and doing a little maintenance on the, on the trucks. So that's cool. Now this guy. Um, as I showed you before, yeah, yeah, that that right there, that's that's that ain't good. Now there's a strip that covers down to here, but these two guys they got to go. But I'm gonna try to get rid of all that stuff there. I did it over here, and I did it down here, and in a fit of frustration, you know, I kind of just stopped and and just reevaluated. Sometimes you just gotta know when to stop, take a break, leave it alone for a little while and then come back to it. But as you can see, since I've done that, the window's in. And uh, that's great. Once you got it powered up, so this guy, it's dirty, but that's because my hands are all over it. But yeah, the windows work. But uh, here we go, guys. Uh, give me a second to set up, 
and then I'm going to show you how to put your window in on your Nissan 300ZX. So, stay, hold on a minute. Alright guys, well the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, putting the door handle on. I know I said the window, but we're going to start with the door handle, alright? So this is what you do. First things first, you got this little rubber gasket on there, so you want to make sure that you uh, press that on. On that, the first thing you want to do is uh, there's a little screw here, and it goes for this piece here. So you want to line that up, you know exactly where everything's going, and then you can put this into place first. This takes a whole, a whole ton of patience, so just be very careful, just be very, very, just, just be very careful and, and, and go slow, and then you'll be fine. And you put the screw that comes with it back, alright, so that's that. Um, this little screw comes into play later. I don't know if it's needed for this side, but the driver's side has another little um, sensor that goes in here. I don't think it's on the uh, passenger side. I think this, that same sensor is only on that side, and it's, and it's to pre prevent you from locking your keys in the, in the car. But, um, yeah. But if I see it, I'm going to use it. But for now, I'm just going to kind of just keep this screw here. And then if uh, it's and if it is on this side, which I, I don't recall it being on this side, then I'll go ahead and do it. But other than that, just leave this as is for right now. All right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to start putting your um, your latch attachments on here. So these right here, these are your latch attachments. You have this. You have this, and you have this metal piece here, and it's all going to be held on with this C-clamp. Now the other side I broke the C-clamp so I ended up using a snap ring which works just as good, but try not to lose this or just this is what you're going to use. That's the first one you want to put on. All right, It has the two extended sides. And you can tell it's different from this one because that one has like a key shape to it. All right, so that one is the first one you want to put on. This, this side, the adjustable side, goes up. Oh, right, that fits on, just like that. Swingy side, up. All right, all right. Now the next piece that goes on is this other yellow keyed piece. And if you look down in there. It fits right on. There's a little tab right there. There's a little tab that shows you which way it goes on. So you put it on that way. And then this faces toward the little white piece, the edge part down. Like this. All right, so a little closer, a little more focused. Now, if you did this wrong, like I did the first time, you're not going to have enough room to key this little piece in. So this is the last one that goes on and kind of locks everything into place. Now, what you want to do is this metal piece here, this metal piece, face it down, and it slides in this white piece that holds everything in. So it's right down in here, like so. And now what you have is your little mechanism sandwich. All right, you see that? Mechanism, all in, mechanism sandwich, all right? All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to put your C-clamp on. This holds everything in place. The last time, I had a lot of problems putting this thing on for the simple fact that I didn't have this thing slid down all the way. But you can put this clip on, and as you can see, it goes right in right now. So how this thing works here is you put your key in, and you'll see the locking mechanism actually work. See that? Now this one's a little stiff here, so I'm gonna put a little WD-40 on there like I did on the other side, and it makes it work way, way better. 
All right, so with this thing, you can put just a touch of WD-40 on there. I'm only covering it because I don't want it splashing all over the paint. All right. So with that in there, you work your key a little bit, and your engagement is way better. You can see the key actually snaps back now. Before, it just kind of just stuck in there, but now it goes and it snaps back. You just kind of work that stuff in there and your engagement is way more positive with the key. Just gotta keep messing with it. So I'm gonna work this in just a little bit and I'll be back. All right guys, so now that we got a good positive smooth engagement on this thing, it snapped back and everything, so the key is great. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, since all that's put together, let's go ahead and drop this whole thing in and make sure that now that what's happened is that my weather stripping has kind of come apart a little bit but that's all right what i'm gonna do is uh you just go ahead and throw your weather stripping back in there engage it properly and then you can go ahead and drop the whole assembly in all right guys i'm gonna have to switch over to the gopro this is running out of batteries but as you can see i have my weather stripping around it was it's it's a pain to do this and you're gonna need a lot of patience to get this weather shipping to go on correctly and to get your door on. But I finally got it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro and then switch angles for you so you can see the, uh, the two uh, nuts that go on the other side to hold this in. So I'll see you in just a second. All right guys, I just wanted to give you a better look. You can see it better from up top. Oops. You gotta move this thing out of the way and you can see the two barely barely see the two studs you got to put those nuts on so I'm gonna go and do that guys now that we're on this side of it um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this plate in tighten the nuts up and go ahead and uh, start connecting all of the uh, all of the door um, the door hinging that allows these little mechanisms right here allows all these little mechanisms right here to work so give me a second, I'm going to put this on and uh, I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll hook these up and show you how to do that. So give me a second. And it's just a bracing for this. And once you got that on, you can start putting your, you put the nuts on the back side of this plate and this just kind of keeps everything in place your assembly should look like that All right? We're going to go ahead and put the mechanisms in. You have two mechanisms. One for the locks and one to unlatch the door itself. So what you're going to have to do is two latches inside this hole right here. This one right here is for the lock. And then there's another one that's on a push dial that you can probably see up here. If you can see that moving, that's what unlatches the door. So I'm going to go ahead and hook those up. So you can see uh, right in there, might be a little bright, sorry about that. But uh, this little thing right here has to push right into this locking mechanism. So I'm going to do that because I need two hands. After that snapped in, that's what you should have right, right here. Right on that black piece right there. Let me move that wire out of the way. This right here. You'll see when I actuate the door, that's that's what you should have right there. All right. So the next one I'm going to put on is for the key. So and that's this one that's hiding back here. You see that right there. All right. And that's going to go in the one for the key. Now you might also have to uh, use your key to manipulate it. You go in through this side. You use your key, and then you can actually move that mechanism where you need it. 
so that you can snap that in the place. But anyway, just to show you guys, that's where you should be at, right there. You see where my fingers are? See where the end of it is down there? You should be on that. And then you snap it in the place, and then the other side of it snaps on to hold. But you gotta be careful because these parts are still 30 years old and they can break. They are not fun. So when you're when it's all said and done, that's what you should have. If you don't have that, you ain't doing it right. So there you go. That's where you should be. Right there. All right. So if you've done it right, your key should actuate. You should have this when it comes to the key. So the key works, the door handle works, and we're going to test it before we put the window in. So you should be able to open and close the door and lock the door. Unlock, door opens. So there we go. Our door, door handles are in. Next we're going to put in the window.